Good morning, everyone. Sorry for the lighting, I guess. Anyway, um, just getting my morning started. Got up a little bit earlier than I was supposed to. Um, just so I like to have like slower mornings instead of rushing to get ready for work. I'm gonna put you guys up here so I can finish doing this. So I like to get ready slower so I can just have like a relaxing slow morning. I'm trying to keep my stress super low. I'm just fixing up my coffee now, putting some oat milk that is not creamer <laughs> and some brown sugar. I just like the taste of it more than regular sugar. I'm also making some red raspberry leaf tea. That's gonna be my main drink for the morning. And I'm gonna put this in the fridge. So before I start with some breakfast, which will probably end up being pancakes, I'm going to um, feed all of the kitties and probably do some yoga on my yoga ball. So I'm wearing my new sweatshirt again because I'm literally obsessed with this. The baby has not been moving around very much this morning. Granted, it's earlier than she's normally moving around. But just having like one of those moments where I'm like, oh my gosh, she's not moving a lot. Is she okay? I have felt like two or three movements, so I'm not like super worried. So, gosh, I look huge right now. <laughs> it's the sweatshirt though. It's fine. I don't care. So I'm just going to work on my exercise ball and try to get her to move just to soothe my mind all of that good stuff. I'm drinking my raspberry leaf tea. So we'll see if she gets moving at all. Typically I just bounce on it and then I also go from like side to side to work on all of my pelvic muscles and all of that good stuff. Typically what I do, I try to get on this almost every day, which I need to get better about, but life is busy. And I do feel better when I get on here and like stretch everything out make sure everything is like aligned like it should be so I always know that I feel better after I do it it's just setting aside the time to actually do it so this is a perfect time in between when I'm gonna eat breakfast and waiting for my clothes to dry and try to get this baby moving a little bit to just soothe my nerves a little bit okay. so I'm just making some pancakes um, I finally got the baby to move that's gonna be really loud I'm sorry I finally got the baby to move I sat in the recliner for a little while which normally gets her moving and felt like a small kick like the smallest of kicks and so then I got up and I did some squats and then I had like two good kicks so that helped ease my mind a little bit I'm actually gonna get ready to go soon so I can go pick up some lunch for myself from Zam. If you guys have a Zam around you, it's amazing. So I'm just gonna check on my compression socks because I have to wash them like literally every two days because I only have two pair. And then I'm probably gonna get ready to head out. Guys, so I am making my way downtown to work. Well, first I gotta get some gas and I have to pick up my food from Zam. Don't worry, I'm just in the driveway. I'm not gonna record while I'm driving. So, just making my way to go get my food. I had a couple of pancakes. Um, consensus on the strawberry pancakes. They weren't my favorite, but it could have been. Could have been because I had um, too many like add-ins in there. I put like a scoop of protein powder. I put some oats which normally does fine, but maybe the combination of them together. So that could be, I'm still on the driveway. I have a really long driveway. So that could be why, but yeah. Um, just had some of the chocolate chip ones this morning. I didn't actually make them. I always make extra so I can freeze on mornings where I don't have time to make a whole bunch of pancakes. <laughs> That's been one of my biggest like cravings, I guess. 
but when I want them, I just want them all the time. So I'm gonna go up and get my food and then make my way to work. Got my food. Wow, my hair looks like garbage. I ordered before I left the house. You can't really see it, but I'm so excited. We were eating Zam like a few months ago, like twice a week. It was like kind of a pregnancy craving, but it was just when I was starting to get out of all of my like food aversions and that's like all I wanted. So that's what I got. Oh no, she didn't give me a fork. Okay, got the goods. Look how beautiful that is so excited so it's just like if you've never had Zam which you totally should um, it's like a Korean Chipotle basically that's like the setup and it is so good I got rice chicken normally I get pork but they were out um, beans kimchi carrots cheese and zucchini and then I got a creamy chili sauce and teriyaki sauce. Also, I got some bubble tea. Um, this is the brown sugar tea, which is so good. It looks a lot prettier when you first get it because they have the brown sugar syrup that like goes down the side and it's really pretty. Um, unimportant though. So, got that. And I didn't realize until like a couple days ago that they have soy milk. I really hope that my camera got all of that because my camera, again, just like cut off. So I hope it actually got that. But I didn't realize until a couple days ago that they have soy milk. Because I've just been getting like the non-milk tea and just dealing with it. But they have soy milk so I can have the milk teas now and I'm so excited. Okay, I have to make my way across town so I can get to work. I'm gonna eat a little bit and I will see you guys later probably. Successfully paired. I hope I have learned my lesson about eating Korean food in the car because I got teriyaki sauce on my new sweatshirt. But fun fact, you can use some spray hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works to get out teeny tiny stains. I don't know what's going on with my hair. We're just gonna not talk about it. But um, yeah, I can barely see it now, so that's good. I thought it was like a piece of food, so I tried to like get it off and then it wasn't coming off. So I like sprayed some hand sanitizer on it and just rubbed it <laughs> and it took it out. So, you know, count your blessings. Also, I brought my coffee because I ended up icing it and I'm not impressed with it. I'm still trying to figure out like the iced coffee at home thing and this is not it. <laughs> I put two scoops of the coffee too. So I made it like pretty strong. It's not terrible, but it's also not great. And yeah, I'm not super impressed. So I'm glad that I got some tea. But I'm gonna go ahead in because I really have to pee. So I will talk to you guys later probably. If not, I will just end this here. Um, but I'll probably talk to you guys later. And yeah, see you later. Hey y'all, so I am on my break and about to finish. Ooh, y'all getting real close to that truck. I swear, people be wiling out in this small parking lot. Like, sometimes people park and I watch them get out of their car and they see me and I give them a look like, like, I saw what you just did. You did, <laughs> you parked all kinds of messed up, looked at it, and then decided not to do anything about it. <laughs> like, I'm watching you. Uh, baby is still not moving a lot today. And I don't know why. And I'm trying not to like freak out because I'm sure she's fine. We literally had an appointment like two days ago. Like I know she's fine. It's just like there's like a little bit of anxiety there about like what's wrong. Why is she not moving? So I tried doing some squats jumping jacks um but I didn't really do a lot I tried drinking some super cold juice which is what my midwife like recommended and I got like one kick out of that 
and then I was like poking her and trying to like move around and stuff and I got another good one out of that but the past several days like to a week or so she has been super active and like moving like big movements like big stuff and then today has like barely been anything so it's been like a pretty big change from like what's normal and so my midwives were saying that like she should have normal patterns by now um and if she's not moving in those normal patterns to like try the juice thing try laying down um like stuff like that or like if I notice that she has like stopped moving for an ex like extended amount of time to give them a call but she hasn't just like stopped completely. We, I've still had like a handful of movements today and they've been like spaced out. So I wonder if she's just like in a cozy spot and doesn't want to move um, or what. But I was filling up my water bottle and I got a really good kick then or punch or whatever it was. So I got a pretty good one then. So I'm not like too worried, but it's just like that little bit of anxiety of like, She's been moving so much in the past week and then I have a day like where she doesn't move as much, which I've been having before. So I'm not like surprised, but just to not have the consistency like every single day is like a little bit stressful. So that's kind of annoying, but I'm sure she's fine. I try to like get a, tr like chug a bunch of cold water and see if that does anything. Um, and like I said, I've still had movements it's just slowed down like a ton today. So people talk about this in my mom groups all the time asking like if they had this too and if their baby's okay and like I know she's okay. There's just that little anxiety in the back of my mind like why is she not moving enough? <laughs> but I'm probably gonna go ahead and end this here because I don't want this to get too long. I have a tendency to like think that I don't have enough um, like footage and just like trickle on to the next day but this is probably enough here so so I also totally forgot that I was gonna ask you guys if I were to start a TikTok which I have kind of been against not a for a specific reason but just like I feel like it's for like a younger generation but <laughs> if I were to start a TikTok would any of you guys actually be interested in it <laughs> So while I'm editing this video, um, turns out I already made a TikTok by the time you're seeing this. Um, sorry for not getting stuff out in more real time, but I have a whole lot of videos I'm trying to get out and my service at home is like not great. So I have to like try to edit it either on my break or like before or after work. And I've been working a lot and then trying to upload it with really bad service is just like whole thing so it's been harder to like get videos out than I would prefer so it's a little bit behind I have so much to get out but yeah I already made a TikTok it's gonna be in the description if you want to check it out and give me any suggestions of what you would like to see and thank you guys for watching I will talk to you later bye